External beam radiation therapy, or EBRT, is the most common form of radiation used to treat tumors. Today's state-of-the-art EBRT systems, known as linear accelerators, deliver the most advanced radiation therapy in the world. External beam radiation therapy is using x-rays that are highly focused uh, at the tumor to treat the cancer from the outside. We've actually been treating cancer with radiation therapy for over 100 years, but over the past 20 years or so, we've been lucky enough to have tremendous advances in machinery, sophisticated software, and imaging technology, all allowing us to deliver dose very precisely, making treatments safer, faster, and more effective. Radiation therapy affects the cancer cells so that it damages the DNA of the cell. So when the tumor tries to grow and the DNA tries to replicate, it is unable to do it. Once we've made the decision that the patient is gonna require radiation therapy, they will come in for an initial simulation and that's really how we drop the blueprints of the treatment. And we basically make a 3D model of that patient and contour all of the internal organs so that we can come up with a custom treatment plan for that patient. Once the patient has had a plan chosen, then they come in every day for treatment. They lie down on the treatment table. A linear accelerator is a machine that rotates around the patient. The patient lays still on the table while the gantry rotates around and delivers radiation from different angles. It traditionally is done over a five to six week period, five days a week. The treatment could take anywhere from three to five minutes. A patient may not feel anything during radiation, much like if they had a chest x-ray. So the patient is on the machine, on the table, and the radiation is delivered from the machine, and they don't feel anything. There are several forms of EBRT. 3D conformal radiation therapy uses a three-dimensional treatment planning system to determine the location, size, and shape of a tumor. The radiation beam is shaped by a device called a multi-leaf collimator. Years ago, radiation therapy was delivered by one beam or two beams. When 3D conformal became available, we were able to actually three-dimensionally see the tumor through a CAT scanner and deliver multiple beams to the tumor. Intensity modulated radiation therapy, or IMRT, also uses 3D treatment planning to adjust the intensity and shape of thousands of radiation beamlets from many different angles. By modulating the intensity with these leaves, it has allowed us to go to much higher doses with less side effects and higher cure rates. Image-guided radiation therapy, or IGRT, combines advanced imaging and radiation therapy treatment capabilities. Your treatment team can confirm and track movement in the tumor through imaging at the time of treatment and make fine adjustments to your position. We have a few measures that we take to make sure that everyone is treated safely. Um, the first thing we do is before every patient gets their treatment, we run their treatment plan without the patient there and we monitor the radiation coming out of the machine and we make sure that the radiation that comes out of the machine is exactly the same as what the computer has calculated it to be. There are several state-of-the-art systems used for EBRT. These systems integrate IGRT with 3D conformal or IMRT radiation therapy in one machine to deliver a very precise treatment. We also offer uh, what's called respiratory gating because when you breathe, structures in your chest can move and if they move too much, then we have ways to turn the machine on and off as we're giving the treatments so that we're only hitting the, the target when it's in the right position. They all are lined what up patients up. have to know is that we're excited about the technology that we use because we can use it to treat their cancer even better than we used to even five or ten years ago, and it makes us passionate to be able to continue taking good care of them with all of our equipment and hopefully have the best outcome possible.